डायनेमिक्स 365 फाइनेंस एंड ऑपरेशंस परचेज एक्सपेंस डिफरल्स एग्जांपल फॉर डिफरल्स कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज सी माय अदर वीडियो लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू यूज दिस एग्जांपल वी नीड टू हैव सब्सक्रिप्शन बिलिंग मॉड्यूल इनेबल्ड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रेवेन्यू रिकॉग्निशन मॉड्यूल शुड बी डिसेबल्ड let me show you in the system let's go to feature management select all filter on revenue so revenue recognition this module should be disabled also this module is support for this module is going to end very soon next subscription billing subscription billing this module should be selected also this module consist of three sub modules we can select all but for my example i need to have revenue and expense deferral selected next we need to have a service item created in the system for example let's say for insurance services I have already created a service item uh, with the code as double zero double two. Let's quickly see this item in the system. Let's go to product information management. Let's go to release products and filter on this item. So if I open this item, so it's type service. item code is 0022 and also very simple setup we need to have the item model group selected and also the item group selected that's it next we need to have few setups done so one setup is we need to have an entry in the item deferred by default also we need to have our deferral expense account and also we need to select our deferral template for this particular service item let me quickly show this we go to subscription billing module and first setup is one setup is for the purchase side we can similarly have for the sales side or revenue deferral so this example is for purchase deferral so on the purchase side for we need to have this entry done so i have selected the item code as 0022 next is we need to have the deferred expense account so here i have selected the accrued expenses gl account which is 200190 and also for this item code in my deferral template default for this item code as 0022 i have selected 12 months deferral straight line template that's it so all my setups are done coming back to the presentation so next is we will create a purchase order with the same item selected for 12000 so for example we are having the insurance services for 12 months 1000 each per month so when we post this purchase invoice the expected entry will be my prepaid expense insurance account or purchase deferral account will be debited by 12000 and the vendor account will be credited by 12000 and then my deferral schedule for 12 months will be for each month insurance expense will be debited by 1000 and my prepaid insurance expense account will be credited by 1000 let's 
do the same transaction in the system. So quickly I will go and create a purchase order. So I'll create a new PO. I am taking the vendor account as 1003. Site I will take for example this. I am changing this to USD, the currency, as my system currency is USD. <coughs> Nothing else here. So my purchase order number is. <coughs> One twenty-five. <clears throat> so, so this is my purchase order in the system. One twenty-five. On the line, I am going to select the service item. Quantity I will take as one. Unit price twelve thousand. <clears throat> That's it. Next is. I will go and confirm this purchase order. It's taking some time. <clears throat> I don't know why it's taking so much of a time. Maybe some latency issue. So once the PO is confirmed, I'll go to my invoice and generate an invoice. Today I think there is some latency issue or some server issues it should happen very fast but it's taking some time let's wait so this is my invoice i'll put some p o i n v 22 let me put this invoice number also since there are some matching setups in the system so let me select default from PO so default quantity from ordered quantity I have selected the invoice number everything is fine we need to have a matching so what I'll do is up manually update the matching status which is now passed I can even go and see the totals which will be 12,000 that's correct even here since this item as 0022 is linked to a deferral template in my setups so deferred is coming as yes which is okay i will go and post this invoice it's taking some time today So the vendor invoice is posted. Let me quickly go to my invoice journal and let's see what is the voucher that is generated by the system. There is no entry here. So what is happening is <clears throat> if I go to my general ledger, go to parameters, go to transfer rules. So it's transfer mode is asynchronous for my subledger journal entries but it's still it's not posted so let me quickly check the subledger entries not yet transferred so there is nothing showing here so i think now it must have got posted so 
so let me filter on 125 purchase order and again select the invoice and let's see the voucher so yes voucher is here so as expected the <coughs> The account payable or the vendor account is credited by 12,000 and our accrued purchase is debited by 12,000. So this entry is correct. Next, we need to generate the subscription schedule for the or the deferral schedule for the next 12 months. So let me go to the subscription building module and we go to deferral schedules so here for that same invoice we have a deferral schedule created in the system so this is for the we can even for example here let's say I want to have it equally uh, created for the 12 months so I can go and change the dates so if I go and let's say say modify schedule and change my start date to next month first of May and end date to 12 months So these are my 12 entries starting from 1st of May and I can go and post these which is I go and click on recognize. So the system is posting the voucher. So now if I come back to my same screen, I can see that this vendor invoice has been posted. The deferral schedule for 12 months is posted. I can see recognized and these are my voucher numbers. These are my different vouchers. So if I select, let's say one voucher and go to go to voucher transactions and just select this voucher so this is my one month deferral entry where my accrued purchases is getting credited and my expense account is getting getting debited similarly for next 11 months that's it so this is the end of this example please like and subscribe Give comments as this will motivate me and help me to improve and create more informative content. Happy learning. Thanks for viewing.